Justin Kolar here out at Dill Sanctuary, and we've got a pretty rare, pretty cool opportunity for folks at home presented by the Charleston Museum. This will be going on this coming Thursday. It's called Sunset on the Stono, and to help explain uh, what we're doing out here a whole lot better than I can, we are joined by the Chief Archivist of the Charleston Museum, Jennifer McCormick here, and also the curator as well. Tell us a little bit about this event and what makes it so special. I know people probably pass this area, Dill Sanctuary, all the time and maybe have never been able to get past those front gates. Yes, so um, this is a historic um, wildlife sanctuary that we have here. We have um, batteries, Confederate uh, Civil War batteries. Um, and this event will let us explore one of those batteries, which is Battery Pringle, as well as experience the amazing sunset here on the Stono. Now, speaking of Pringles, I'm getting a little bit hungry out here. This is a BYOB event. Really, bring your own chairs, bring your, whole, your own picnic dinner. We're standing right where that backdrop, the beautiful sunset, is going to be. And again, this is kind of a, a pack your own adventure type deal. Tell us a, a little bit more about that. Bring your own picnic, bring BYOB, like you just said. Um, bring your picnic chairs, um, and we can come out here. It starts at 530. Um, we'll open the gates a little bit early so you can come in and get situated. And as I understand it, you'll be the one that will be giving the tour of the battery. Yes. Um, we were just kind of talking a little bit off camera that some folks have metal detect out there, found some cool stuff. What exactly happened out there, if you don't mind us showing? And we don't want to give away too much, you know, before <laughs> people come out here and see it. So this uh, battery Pringle or Fort Pringle is a Civil War battery that was um, that was a Confederate battery um, built started around 1863 and they had a uh, battery or I'm sorry a battle out there in 1864 um, July 2nd through July 10th so I'll be talking about that so cool there's there's so much history around us here in the low country and again so many opportunities that maybe folks don't even know about because again this is a pretty rare opportunity for folks to be able to be welcomed in here